We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I am your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums. It is late. I am tired. Uh, Doggo had her uh, surgery today. She's back home. Um, I spent about 10 hours with her upstairs, just kind of laying on a mattress, like a like a four inch mattress thing, um, on the floor with her. And uh, apparently I'm exhausted from doing nothing. Kind of kept a watchful eye on her, very stressed out. Um, they removed it. She obviously made it through the surgery. Um, she... I'm sorry, guys and gals. Uh, this is kind of the weird opening and whatnot. Um, she, she made it through the surgery. Uh, she is by the this the end of this evening here. Uh, she's been up and walking around, um, which is crazy. Seeing what uh, you know was done, um, and uh, she has an appetite, so it looks like she's probably going to be okay. Uh, but still, really hard to see my my doggo, you know, <laughs> like a third of her shaved and a big like almost a six inch, somewhere between a four and a six inch six inch scar, bunch of stitches and stuff on her side where they removed the the, the lump, the tumor thing. Oh, poor dog, poor Katie. Anyway, uh, like I said, I, I don't want to I don't want to be down on anything or any of that stuff. Uh, just. If I sound drained of energy and I'm being a little bit quieter than normal, I'm as close to the mic as I can get. Oh, there's a reason for it. Okay, so I I know I, I left off with something. I think I did everything I wanted to do here. Oh, I didn't do the ring polishing, and I was going to do it off camera, but I forgot. So guess what? You guys get to uh, enjoy the good old polishing of the rings. I know. I too am excited. Um, I suppose I could do it this way. It will take some work. This is so stupid. Thank you. The ring looks I, amazing. I, I know. I, I I just I need to let it go. I just I just really really struggle to let it go because it's so dumb. It's so. Please so be dumb. thorough. Yeah, whatever. It's extra... Thanks for always taking such good care of the ring. It's an extra voice line for uh, Eric Lindbeck. I'll take it. Or two. And, well, you know, well, we we get something out of it. It's not like there's there's nothing for it. It's, it's, it's a silly thing. This ring is filthy, thing. don't you think? Yeah, it's filthy. <laughs> well done. Yeah. The ring shines like new. Yeah. Um, you know, we get we get a little bit of the little extra bonding stuff, and they get the happy face, which... The super happy face, which I'm sure means something. Ooh, what are we, Micaiah, right? That's who we're on? It's Yunaka, right? The Ring of the Dawn, Be maybe? thorough oh, now. This is a tiny ring. Thanks for taking care of this for me. You're welcome, uh, I suppose. All right, so, so that's all done. So we did the ring polishing. We inherited some skills. We swapped out who has what. Um... Sure. Yeah, no, this this seems fine. I I believe we have uh, an extra ticket for the weird um, online tower trial thing. So, yeah, that exists. And I believe we're about to... I, I don't know if we're going to start Chapter 7, but we're going to kind of embark here in just a second to at least attempt it. Yeah, we have two relay tickets at this point. I'm sure we maybe got more. Yep. Make make a rank S meal. Okay. So we got a whole bunch of stuff here. Did did I already? I'm just gonna climb them all. Ah, uh, sorry. Defeat an emblem in the arena. Cool. Fight an emblem in the arena ten times. Uh, cook for the first time. Polish rings ten times. Uh, create a bond ring. Complete a support conversation with Yunaka. All right. Let's claim all. Yeah. Okay. Um. I guess we're ready to go. I think I did everything. 
I thought that was the plan before, so I mean, I'm here for it. I'm I'm very tired, but I've been wanting to play this for a very uh, like pretty much all day, and I didn't get a chance to. And it's just been my schedule's been destroyed over the last few days. But you know what? That's okay. Any other paralogs or anything else? Ooh, what's this? Oh? What is happening? Huh? Skirmishes. Enemy soldiers or corrupted foes sometimes go back to areas that you have already cleared. That's not cool, man. You can return to these locations for optional skirmishes. Ah, okay. Building skirmishes can earn you experience and other rewards like gold and items. So, what you're telling me is if I go back this way... I, I'm not going to do this right now because I feel like it's a little cheap. I mean, maybe I should do this right now. Um, I can go back here and fight this over and over again as many times as this shows up just to get like free experience and it doesn't really advance anything? Okay. Like, I'm not opposed to that. Uh, you know, I might end up actually doing that, guys and gals. I said I wasn't going to. Oh, this is a paralogue here. And then we can skip that one, ironically and weirdly. And, oh, no. And apparently head here, which is going to do something? Oh, world map. Divine paralogues. You can use the world map menu to return to the Somnial or world map of the main story. Skirmishes may also appear on maps that you have already completed. Um, sure. So, so what is... Oh, this is just a divine... Okay, the Dragon Temple. And if we go back this way... Okay, so this is like a completely different area. That's interesting. Okay, so what I think we're going to do is we are going to go to the skirmish. Because I, I don't know how the skirmishes work. This is the actual next, like, chapter. Okay. I don't know how the skirmishes work. Like, if I opt not to do it right now, does it disappear? I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and take on the skirmish. It's be another battle that we've already seen. Um, if, indeed, it's just kind of a basic battle, um, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section, guys and gals. Uh, do you care if I do the skirmishes off camera? Or would you prefer to see them on camera? Because, like, I'm fine doing it either way. All right. Um, I, You know what we didn't do? Before I left, I didn't go to any of the shops. I didn't do any of the, uh, the smithery thing. Which is something that I wanted to do. I wanted to smitherize some stuff. But that's okay. I think we can just do this and we'll be fine. <sighs> It's been a very long day. I have not felt very well today. And I had to do a lot of extra physical stuff today, too. So, yeah, it's been, it's been weird. But it's, it's okay. It's okay. I've gotten through it. Um, like I said, the dog seems to be doing well. And I'm so happy that that's the case. Uh, the settings menu now has options for music. You can change the music for player, enemy, phases, and battles outside of the main story. That's weird. Okay, we did all that. Just wanted to make sure. Um, we haven't looked at the notebook in a while. Maybe we'll do that. Uh, you know, selection. We can have eight people. I think I'm going to let Vander sit again. You, you want to bring Louie, but... Uh, eight people's just not enough. You know? I might let Celine sit this out. I do want to bring her along. I think the Thief class is actually very, very cool. This time around. I don't, I mean, he exists. I don't know that I'm going to be using him much, but, yeah. All right, well, and the kids got the, uh, all right, this will work, I suppose. 
All right, what are we what are we looking at here? Oh my god. There are a large amount of horse boys and horse girls. Uh, it doesn't really look like we have any... Oh, there's a thief right there. Um, it doesn't look like we really have any great um, like defensive positions anywhere that we can do. A few choke points like here and, and up here and such, but like for the most part, not, not much. I kind of want... Yunaka and the kid to swap. I think you two can switch. That's maybe okay? I don't know. Well, I suppose we'll find out. Maybe you two switch too. Okay, well, let's get into some, some battling. Let's see what we're doing here. Okay, deployed people X number of times is uh, getting all these buffs for. That's fine. All right, so we got a couple of dagger peeps. Understood. I cannot reach with you. Uh, do we out dagger? Whatever you, you need. Is the question. Oh, I don't need to engage. Uh, no, not really. Um, interesting. I mean, I could just chuck this at you, I suppose. Yeah, sure, why not? Here, hold this. <laughs> Boom! Yeah. Alright, cool. Oh, by the way, if you hold A when you're in combat and you have the like, animations going, it will um, speed things along. Like, it will speed it up, accelerate it. I don't know what you want to... I can fight. What you want to call it. But it will do that. Um... I'm all set. I'm not sure about this, man. For the divine dragon. This is um. As your steward. This is interesting. I'm ready. It's like we don't have like great position for anything going on here. All right, uh, I suppose I could move here, maybe. All right, let's see what happens. I don't, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh, they are very aggressive. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna hurt. They are aggressively pursuing us. What have you learned? Louis pretty awesome. Ooh. Okay, so we kind of got molly -whopped. Oh, there's a friendly rivalry going on? Uh-oh. Hmm. Here until the All end. Right, let's go ahead and engage. Emblem engage. So one of the things that we can do with the emblem engage, if I recall correctly, is that when we are done, canter. We can move two spaces after acting. All right. Are we poisoned? Oh no, we're poisoned. Oh, that is just the worst. Um, do we? Can we survive this with one HP? All right, this is th this will work for us. This is it. A bottom blade, yeah. man. That's there is nothing to fear. Slightly terrifying. Okay. So, oh, she still can't reach. Well, that's not good. Um, I 
I imagine if you attack, you're gonna get absolutely destroyed. All right. Thieves are are no joke, man. Um. All right, Bukaron. Bucheron. Let's see what you got. Bring a Edelgard out. Let's say combat arts. It did. Oh, that will end you, which is cool. Flame Gambit sets... <laughs> I've got the Gambits in here, too. That's incredible. Sets foes space nearby spaces on fire after combat. That is interesting. All right. The real question is, how bad is that going to mess this guy up? You know what? Let's let's not run the risk. Let's do let's do the combat art, the raging storm. After combat, take another action. Spend three turns. Yeah, no, that sounds good to me. Let's do it. We're gonna get smacked twice, but then we're gonna maybe hit him. I guess it's worth the risk. Maybe. <laughs> Nope. Well, this is nothing. All right, we're going to try again. Hopefully we don't miss the second one. There we go. Witness my power. Yeah, that wasn't uh, necessarily super great. Is he definitely gonna die? Oh, what? Uh, Emblem engage! Yeah, not, not really what I intended. I feel like we've already made mistakes. And not, no, stop. And I should be uh, changing things. Oh no! Should be changing things up. All right, what if I do echo? Is he gonna hit it tw twice? So hold on, what, what does Echo do? Sorry. Attack two separate times. So I'm going to hit him for 10. This should work? I'll take this! The chain attack. Bring that, and then... Okay, sure. And then we can attack again. Let me help. All right, that works. Yeah. Ooh. Allow your soul the rest it deserves. It is weird watching the two combine. Not gonna lie, it's. I I, I want to say very disturbing, but a little, it's a little disturbing. Um. All right, I I have a solution to our our issues here, but let's uh. Let's see if we can't um, half solve some of our own problems here. I mean, we got really nothing going for us here. Um, all right, I think we're fine just doing this. The odds of this guy, I was going to say, doesn't die is pretty low, but, I mean, he, he proved me, he proved me wrong. Um, Alright, so, it's a bit early to do this, I 100% agree, this does not seem like I should be in a position where I have to do this now, but I'm going to do it. I have no choice. <laughs> Why, why'd you do an evil laugh? I have no choice. <laughs> so it's a little weird. Alright, and since we couldn't reach the others with... Yeah, this is fine. Big help. I mean, it's a start. Okay. That should allow us to survive whatever's next. Theoretically. Oh, they're... Um, Making decisions. 
Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna do anything. Uh, I think he's good. I think Louis, he's fine. I think maybe it would have been wise to keep the uh, the thing on on tap there. Oh, really? Sharon, dude, you're you're not landing a lot of attacks, man. Oh, we got hit. It's fair, but they didn't break me though. All right, friendly rivalry. No, not that. Let's just do a normal basic attack. I'll take this. A little chain attack. A little a little side Hadouk in there. To take the shot here. Need some help? Ah, don't break too easily. Of course, she crits for I'll like a million. I'll have to up my weights. That's fine. Okay, now. Point the way again. This again should go our way. Probably. I think we go with the steel axe here. We have a terrible chance to hit. Maybe we don't go with Steel Axe. I think we just go with the Iron Axe and hope for the best. Please don't miss. Well, I mean... That is just a scratch. thing that happened. Do a quick mend on to him. Sorry, <laughs> trouble you. Enjoy. Tired of trouble me. Um. Hmm. Engage with Marth. I don't think it's gonna help though. I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach. Yeah, not really. Uh, all right. Well, I mean, I guess we're there now. Right. So we'll see. This should go well though. Uh, I always do the liberate. Oh, uh, you know, Rider's Bane still makes more sense, right? I mean, he's a writer after all. If this love is a crime, we'll take it. Ooh, good level up. Uh, HP, magic dex, speed, defense, and was it resistance? And hey, Alir and Sigurd. All right. Yep, cool. Regular Lance Powder, or Powder Power, like we initially uh, thought. Wait here. Some a Bond of Fragmentation there. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to come down here and potentially do some stuff. I think I might just actually have her on the backside here. Uh, I don't know how that's gonna go. Um, I also think I'm going to actually use the javelin. There it is. My apologies. Down he goes. The javelin is a little weaker against the guy directly in front of us, but we'll be able to tag anyone who attacks us. I like the plus ten across the board. That's nice. The three healers are all together. Oh, oh, you, you dodged for once. How's that feel? Oh, and then he did it, of course. Of course. Ooh. Wait, he had a 38% chance to hit? Oh, Alright, well, I mean, it happens. I mean, I missed my 52 or whatever it was. Here, hold this. Ouch. You did. Louis is so cool. I mean, Boucheron's cool too, but he, he doesn't have that. What, what's There's nothing what's to the fear. word? How do, how do you phrase that? Like, don't get me wrong, like, Louis is incredible, right? But. Louis got the heavily armored thing, so it makes him. Like, easily stronger. Alright, we got a speed, whatever BLD is, and. 
a little bit of HP. It was not a very good level for us. That's that's okay. All right. Well, we got a lot of uh, very upset people still wanting to end us. Uh, rider. Oh, that won't be enough. But if we override him, then we hit him with the rider's bane. He's done. One strike will decide it all. <laughs> Strike will decide it all, and beautifully at that. All right, then I definitely think we should back up. Definitely think we should back up. All right, I'm not sure what the next plan of attack is here, but I suppose we'll figure it out. <sighs> I mean, I, I suppose I could move you over here. Do the Lodestar Rush and remove him from existence, and I think we should do that. Forgive me! Again, thieves are kind of horribly nasty. And somewhat spooky scary. We shall not fall to the enemy. Well done, Alfred. Well done, sir. Oh, we got a slim sword. Nice. Uh, we're going to send that away, but cool. Um, do they cast spells? I mean, I might be getting him killed right now. I, I don't know. I'm hoping not, but it, it's possible. Uh, yeah, the Iron Lance is stronger, right? Yeah, it'll do enough. 95%, please don't miss. <laughs> yeah. And so your tale ends. Good job, Louis. All right. Uh, oh. Mm. Good old Bucci over here is uh, he's having a bad time. What you got? I mean, I've got, I've got options. Most of them I'm are in not over my good. head. Here, let's move you here. Well, I can engage <laughs> if I wanted to, but this is with a uh, wait. First, long range attacks do no damage. Oh, that's interesting. And then if I go here and I heal. Yeah. Thank you. Sharon's like, yeah, I almost died. I did not appreciate that. Hey, not bad. Level 7 on a healer. I'll take it. Uh, speed and luck. Sure. Hmm. 68.81. Does not do much damage. If I hit, I kill. Good shot. Please don't miss. Yeah. <laughs> cool, she leveled up too. Etie! Very nice. HP, speed, defense, resistance, and luck. Those are definitely the results we were looking for. Okay, what do you got for me? Oh, we got shine. I don't even know what that is. Seems impressive. Let's, uh... Let's hit him with it, but not yet. Hold on. Well, what about this? That'll just... Yeah, let's just do that. Uh, and we get the... We all be protected. We get the little uh, circle there, and the, the bonds or the experience or whatever. Play on Celica. Grants plus three to magic. That's great. Bond fragments there. All right, and then we got you over here. And technically, we should be able to hit you with Shine, which will virtue. Well, it'll it'll kill you, but we get to do something before you go down. Shine. All right. Chucking the axe. Totally missed you. Zero percent chance to hit. 
I don't know if like we blinded you or what the deal is. I will is. not be afraid. Is she wearing? She must be wearing pants. Like her legs are very orange. Is she wearing pants? I hope so. Uh, deck speed and I think resistance maybe. Yunaka, Makaya, knife uh, proficiency. All right. Theoretically, there's only four scary people left. Oh, sorry, there's only four people left. None of them scary. I don't know what I meant to say. That's not what I said. Uh, the archer might be scary if we had like a Pegasus Rider or something, but meh. Oh, you can't teleport. Dang, it's gonna have you do it. I can keep going. Uh, don't need to waste that. Um. Maybe it'll be experience? Nope, bond fragments. Alright. Gonna go directly after you with libertation. Or liberation. Libertation, I don't know. Okay, go ahead. Oh, yes, for one. Kudos to you. This time, victory was mine. Yeah, it was. Okay. Ooh, momentum. Uh, grants attack plus one for to the first attack during combat for each space unit move before attacking. All right, up to a max of ten. Got it. Um, you look like you're defending the other guy. So let's uh, let's slap you. And now, if you guys want to counterattack, uh, you do so to your own detriment. Well, if that hits, it will end you. We even got the preemptive strike, but that doesn't matter at this point. I will protect you. You like the little um, graphics card cooling fans there on his back? Either they're pretty slick. Defense, luck, and HP. Veteran has better than an ass. All right, Alfred and Marth go up by one. You get the sword agility. Uh, you get some avoidance at the cost of critting, which, you know, makes sense. Um, you know, I, it's fine. I think we can afford to buy more uh, things if need be. So why don't I actually just use the heals to keep her up a higher level? I feel like it just makes Sorry sense. Sorry to trouble you. All right, and with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are about done with this chicanerous chicanery. Ow. How dare I am the you? divine dragon. I am the divine dragon. I had to stop you. How would you ever think that was a good idea? All right, cool. We got up to level nine, strength, HP, speed, and luck. I'll take it. And Louis says, "Good day, sir." Um, that was eye-opening. It, was it? Because your eyes are still closed, buddy. All right, he's level 10 now. Uh, ooh, HP, defense, and luck. Not that great, but it's not bad. Okay, we did it, guys and gals. Alir and Sigurd were the MVPs, I guess. I felt like maybe that... Maybe that... I felt like Boucheron should have been the MVP. Eh. Maybe it's based solely off of deaths or uh, like kills or something. Anyway, guys and gals, I think that is going to do it for this particular episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I look forward to hopefully being able to record some more tomorrow. And uh, the uploads are going to be slightly behind. But um, hopefully I'm like recording this basically Wednesday super early morning or uh, Tuesday night. Hopefully this is uploaded by, I don't know, Friday maybe. If I'm lucky, maybe earlier. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna go run around town. I, I don't know that I need to talk to anyone. Whoa! I see you improving, other divine one. It's a great inspiration to watch. I think I'm gonna just do all this off camera, so you guys don't have to worry about me going back through here, because I don't think any, there's any like real new stuff. Like we've already talked to these folks. Um. Those creatures were lured here by the scent of no, no, that's not possible. See, it's, it's all the same stuff. And then the other things are going to be kind of generic, like, oh, you were great type stuff. So I think it'll be fine. And that way you guys don't have to see all this. 
right? Yeah. And then I'll probably return to the Somnial and do some stuff there and so on and so forth. Well, like I said, I'll try to cut down on the stuff that's going to be super repetitive and or super boring. But uh, yeah, do let me know down in the comment section, please. Do let me know if you're okay with me doing skirmishes off camera. Because they're only going to pop up in places that we've already done battles and we've already fought. So if you'd rather see me do them you know, on camera, let me know. If you're okay with me doing them off camera, let me know that as well. I would appreciate your input in the, this. All right, folks, that's it. Till the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy Big Squiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.